This is a story about... Oh, wait. <laughs> I gotta start that. Well, basically, I am doing a review over Final Fantasy X. And it's probably one of the best Final Fantasy games in the series. Now, considering this is my first review, be easy on me. I've never done one of these before, so it's kind of awkward for me. Anyway, Final Fantasy X revolves around many characters, but one in particular named Titus. Titus, whatever you guys want to call him. I have many variations of the names. I, it would make more sense for Titus because, you know, Tide and he's water. Anyway, the story starts out with uh, him, you know, being a jock and everything. And there's a sports called sport called blitzball, and it's basically underwater soccer with a lot of contact. Well, there's not much else to say about it besides the scene I'm playing in the background right now, showing what's like. Anyway, one day he uh, everything goes to shit, and a creature called Sin appears in the uh, place of Xanarkin is uh, town. Well, it's not really a town, it's more of a really big city with a lot of people. Anyway, a uh, man named Orin ends up taking Titus into the future because Sen is basically destroying Xanarkin and everything. Titus ends up in the future and he has to figure out a way along the way finding allies like Yuna, the summoner, and a whole bunch of other people like Orin, who... I I'm not going to spoil that for you guys. I'm just going to let you play the game and figure out who Orin is. But basically, he's a really badass character. Um, well, let's see. The rest of the story goes, you have to go from temple to temple, helping Yuna on her journey to find the Aeons. So she can eventually power herself up. And you eventually get to Sen after much traveling on ships and across vast valleys and a lot of puzzles oh my gosh the puzzles the puzzles were probably the better part of the game I mean you go into a temple you gotta solve puzzles to get to the freaking Aeon but I digress and don't even make me bring up the um, laughing scene I'm just gonna put that in here on, show me. What'd you guys think of that? Pretty awkward, huh? I thought so. Anyway, continuing the review. The battle system was pretty decent. It was turn by turn. and But the interesting thing was you could change weapons during the whole battle. Which, I mean, if you forgot to, uh, uh, I suppose, equip something that you wanted to equip, you could waste a turn and equip the thing that you wanted to equip. And it, w it was kind of nice because you got to exploit overdrives, and they were so cool. I'm just going to show a couple here. Overall, the game was amazing. The soundtrack was amazing. The graphics for the time, especially being on a PS2, were absolutely amazing. The story, amazing. It's one... Every fan who's ever played Final Fantasy X or even the Final Fantasy series knows how good Final Fantasy X is. Now, I may do a Final Fantasy X review in the future, but I'm not even going to mention that here because it's so different from Final Fantasy X or X. I also, also forgot to mention that, um, uh, yeah, uh, Titus' dad ends up being a very, very important part of the story. Although, he does seem to be quite a bit of a douchebag, and a good guy at the same time. It's one of those rare combos. 
But, uh, besides that, I would recommend playing this for anyone. Anyone play this. Get a PS2, get the game, play it. It's worth the, well, I say week, week and a half that it'll take you to beat it. Especially with the grinding that you're probably going to have to do. Um, well, let's see what else to comment on. Battle system is amazing. Soundtrack music. Character development, pretty decent. Some characters don't change, others change a lot. Um, you can change out characters in the middle of battle, which was nice. The one thing I did not like was how glitchy the game could be sometimes, and how omegaly strong the bosses were. And how, like, <laughs> the final boss was amusing, because they literally had to do something with you in order for them to s not make you rage enough to quit the game because the, oh, the last boss is so terribly strong. Um, I played this game so much when I was a kid. Although, I'm not that old, even though I feel it. So, if you guys get a chance, I rate this game 9 out of 10 because there's no such thing as a 10 out of 10, even though, okay, 9.5 out of 10 because it's just that good. I hope I did okay for my first review. Um, got some footage in the background here. Oh, preferably mine, of course, but, uh, uh, you know, you do what you can. And if you guys have any requests for any other games to do, um, be sure and let me know in the comment section down below. And I hope you enjoyed this rather short review. And I will see you in the next thing I make.